Welcome to Present Truth Broadcast with Pastor Maxwell Ogaga. Brought to you by Present Truth Ministry, a teaching ministry where believers are trained to be established in the truth of God's Word. Hello, welcome to today's broadcast. My name is Maxwell Ogaga. I'm excited that you're tuned in today as we continue a very short series on how to make your faith effective. We talked about love in our first broadcast. If you didn't get the chance to listen to that, just go on our YouTube channel and get a hold of that and build up with us. I want us to go to Hebrews chapter 6 and we're going to read verse 12. It says that you do not become sluggish, just holding back, walking slowly, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherited the promises. So, I, I said in, in part one of our studies that a lot of people get a hold of faith and just look at it as, this is my faith, I'm going to use it to get this, and they don't see faith as a total concept or faith as a lifestyle. I think that's important. We say that faith is a lifestyle. Now, the component of faith must come with love, which we dealt with in part one, and now we're saying that faith has to come with patience. If you have been taught so much about faith and you haven't been taught about patience, you're going to be frustrated. The Bible says, through faith, and patience inherited the promise. Faith and patience must come together to build that vital force that gets the word of God to come to pass in your life. If you go to verse um, verse 15, it's talking about Abraham, right? It says, and so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. And so in an age where it's everything is going fast, technology is going fast, food is going fast, Things are just going fast. We have the tendency to just get into the Word of God today and say, hey, come on, this is it. I want it right now. I want to lay a hold of it right now. And when we do that, sometimes we do not get the promises. The promises of God has to come with faith and patience. I want to challenge you. I know that you have a great faith life. Uh, I really want to see your patience life. I want to see how patient you are when you trust in the Lord. How patient are you? Go to Luke chapter 21 and verse 19. I'll just show you something there very quickly. Luke chapter 21, as we talk about the subject of faith and patience and verse 19. Luke 21 and verse 19. It says, by patience, possess your souls. What's, what's your soul? Your will, your intellect, your emotions, your feelings, by patience, take a hold of them. When your mind is going, oh God, is not going to come through for me. When your heart is going, oh God has disappointed me. Through the force of patience, you take a hold of your soul. You, you, you put your feet down, you put your foot down, and you say in the name of Jesus, Satan, God's word is going to come to pass in my life, and I'm not giving up. Praise the name of the Lord. It, it, it's such an exciting thing to know that God will never fail. And it's important to understand that, that as you walk in faith, you understand that God will keep his word. And it's only through the force of patience and the force of love, putting those two forces together, we get our faiths to work. Praise the name of the Lord. I trust that you've been blessed by our broadcast. I'd like you to get onto our YouTube channel, subscribe to the channels, and if these teachings are a blessing to you, why don't you get onto our website? We've got loads of teachings right there, and most importantly, share this with your friends. Let's cause the knowledge of the glory of God to cover the earth as the waters covers the sea. God bless you. May God bless you. May he keep you and may he cause his face to shine upon you. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Present Truth Broadcast with Pastor Maxwell Ogaga. For more information and free downloads, please visit www.pastormax.ng. We would also like to hear from you. Call 0805 888 7575. God bless you.